if you get a magnetic compass, you find it's got north and south and everything on it as well. But that's the magnetic north and the magnetic south pole. And the magnetic north, it's in northern Canada. And the south magnetic pole is not here, it's a little way off from the south pole. So the, the magnet points to the, pole, to the magnetic pole, but this one is set to the true north and south. So now let's have a look at this one. The interesting point is that when, when pipe hinge was put in here, it was made especially for Kerry Park. And that line there is the length of daylight in the middle of summertime. And that's where the sun rises, and that's where the sun sets, and that's where it's in the middle of the day. Now, that says summer arc. Someone got one for this one that says winter arc. Come on then, please. And it also has some other names. The labels have got some specific words in them, but they're linked. Because when I'm talking about the winter time, I say this is the winter arc. Because this is the length of winter time at your place. And it's the Tropic of Cancer. And it's called the winter solstice. And it's got a special date. This one is in June, and this one is in December. So that's the length of daylight at Kerry Park in the middle of winter. See, it's pretty short, isn't it? Yeah. And this one here, much longer days in the middle of summer. The position of the winter and summer arcs is determined by the latitude of the location. This is a very graphic way for children to see the difference in length of days between midwinter and midsummer.